Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Defense Research Development Organization DRDO on 2nd November 2022 has successfully conducted the maiden flight test of phase 2 of ballistic missile defense BMD interceptor AD1 missile with a large kill altitude bracket from APG Abdul Kalam Island. The flight test was carried out with participation of all BMD weapons system elements located at different geographical locations. The AD1, which is a long-range interceptor missile, is designed for both low exhaust atmospheric and indo atmospheric interception of long-range ballistic missiles and aircraft. It can even intercept targets at near space that is in low exo atmospheric The missile is propelled by two-stage solid rocket motor and equipped with an indigenously developed advanced control system, navigation, guidance algorithm to precisely guide the vehicle to the target. According to DRDO, all subsystems performed as per expectation during the flight test and the same was validated by data captured by a number of range sensors including radar, telemetry and electro-optical tracking stations deployed to capture the flight data. Now BMD is basically India's two tier ballistic missile defense system and the first layer can intercept a missile at an exo atmospheric altitude between 50 to 180 kilometers this layer consists of prithvi air defense pad and prithvi defense vehicle pdv interceptors designed for mid course interception of a ballistic missile the second layer can destroy an incoming missile in indo atmospheric which is having altitude of 15 to 40 kilometers it consists of a single stage solid propelled advanced air defense aad interceptor missile the aad is designed to intercept missiles at the terminal phase the bmd system in its present configuration is designed to counter missiles with a range of up to 2000 km and a speed between mac 3 to mac 8 as a part of phase 2 of bmd program two new anti ballistic missiles that can intercept irbms are being developed these high speed missiles are ad1 and ad2 and which are being developed to intercept ballistic missiles with a range of around 5000 km now the key to detection of incoming missiles at long ranges is a long range or beyond horizon range radars with a range in excess of thousands of kilometers Now these types of radars generally operate in L band. To begin with, India has imported two phased array green pine radars in 2002 and 2005 from Israel. It was used in Israel's Arrow missile defense system. Green pine operates in search, detection, tracking and missile guidance modes simultaneously and capable of detecting targets at ranges of up to 500 km and can track more than 30 targets at a speed of over 8.74 Mach. Learning from Israeli technology, DRDO has developed Swordfish long range tracking radar capable of tracking missile launches at 600 to 800 km range. DRDO has further developed Super Swordfish or very long range tracking radar. The DRDO's Super Swordfish has been developed to track and intercept MIRV capable missiles and has a range of approximately 1500 km. It was raised in 2017 for Indian Ballistic Missile Defense Program and is now operational. Two units of Super Swordfish have been accorded. Now, as per latest update, the Phase One of Indian Air Force Ballistic Missile Defense Network is now under construction, and Air Force is building four L-band long-range radar tracking sites near Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh, near Jaipur in Rajasthan, and yet to be identified site in Uttarakhand. All of which will be deployed along the Indian's Western Air Defense Identification Zone. The construction activities are slated to be completed by mid of 2023. The first phase of PMD system will be providing ballistic missile cover to NCR Mumbai besides keeping track and providing situational awareness of all ballistic missiles. Under phase 2, three additional long range tracking radar sites will be built with construction already commenced last year to cater for northern and northeastern portion of Indian Air Force defense identification zone. Last year work has also commenced on the construction of 12 L band high power radar sites 8 facing LSE and 4 facing LOC This was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind 
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.